Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshef of Destruction. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I added a new card to my deck. It was Mahavilo, if I can just find it in its number. Oh, there it is. So yeah, stats of 1550 to 1400. The bad news is this cost over 7,000 domino, so right now I'm broke. Just to add one good card to my deck. Just one. That is why I believe that this game is hot garbage, if you had to play this fair. <laughs> because you'd be grinding forever, that you just wouldn't enjoy the game anymore. Which defeats the purpose. Okay, so we have to go to the pier. Takeshi, is it really okay to be on board this luxury liner? Well, technically you're not on board it. It looks like really expensive. Don't you worry about a thing, babe. All I have to do is win some duels. Piece of cake. Really, Takeshi? You're so smart. Ah, shucks. Come on, I'm not that smart. Okay, I admit it. I am smart. My cranium's bursting with brains. Idiot. Hi. Don't bug us. Go away, creep. What's your problem? You are, like, so uncool. Look who's talking. Huh? You want to duel against me? Sure. But fine! Watch me, Edsko! Uh... Alright. Well, I guess we'll just... Do this and find out just how incompetent this guy really is. Let us never speak of this again. <laughs> um, I think the best thing for me to do is probably just save Mahavilo for later. And then bring in Mammoth Graveyard. Which means this duel will probably never end. Let's see. Should probably set this down. And uh, it's your move, bub. Ah, Witch's Apprentice. Well, you just made me strong, too, so good job. So we gotta sit through, like, two effects going on at once. Oh, this is this is awful. What a way to make this duel unenjoyable. Yeah, Mammoth Graveyard's effect powers up. Witch's Apprentice applies. Oh, God, they almost loop. Um, let's just get rid of Mahavilo. So yeah, Mahavilo's attack will decrease, but it'll pick up again once this guy is gone, or this girl is gone. See? We're back into this. The uh, new card will definitely put in some work. Good to know it didn't get wiped out on the first turn. Good job. Oh, this is, this is really annoying, I know. Um, I'm just gonna assume that's another wind monster. No, it was probably forest. Um, Alright. Well, the end result is the same. This guy is done. Like, he's got nothing going for him right now. Okay, well, you know what? I'm kind of happy about this outcome. Either way, we pretty much got this in the bag. Probably didn't even have to do that, but I did anyway. What's it to ya? Actually, you know what? I think I kind of did have to do that. Wait, could I have won if I used Spellbinding Circle? I could've. I could've used Spellbinding Circle the previous turn, and I could've won it right there. As you can tell, I'm not one for min-maxing. <laughs> um, let's just finish this right now. Wings of Wicked Flame. Oh, goody. Takeshi, are you okay? He dueled you, like, totally seriously. That is, like, so not cool. Takeshi, let's ditch, ditch these jerks. Uh, yeah. 
And they stay. Alright, well, I'm getting on the boat. Joey, you can stay here! My, my darling! Please marry me! Be mine, my Valentine! Stop following me! I already told you! I'll only marry if you beat me in a duel! Okay. And today is the day you'll be marching with me to the chapel. Oh, I remember this guy. He was only featured in, what, one episode in the Battle City uh, arc of the anime? Harpy Lady Sisters! Harpy's Triangle Ecstasy! Urgh! My, 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 my! You are excellent, as always. But today, I'm better than usual. I've constructed a new perfect absolute ultimate deck filled with special, unique, powerful, rare cards. Let's duel again, my Valentine. I can't deal with this. Well, you're gonna have to. I'm busy. My husband has a thing for female duelists. Um, that's a little something you should be concerned about in your marriage. Alright, well, uh, Mai is dealing with Jean-Claude Magnum, I think that was his name. Which is an obvious reference to Jean-Claude Van Damme. Like, they didn't even try to hide it there. So, while that's going on, I'm just gonna deal with his NPC. Because I have nothing better to do with my life. That'll be good for later, if I need it. Um, we are in a very strong position to win already, and this duel only started. That should tell you something. You're a butt, you know that? <laughs> okay, I got two decent cards for now, like two decent spell cards. But obviously, I don't think I'll ever need Heavy Storm for the time being. Farewell on that exchange, I'm not surprised. Oh good! Another baby dragon! Oh, happy day! Alright, so unless she's got any wind monsters, she can't stand up to this trio. Oh. Okay, what happens here if there's two baby dragons on the field at the same time? Oh my god, it turns both of them into Thousand Dragon! Oh, oh, that is broken! Holy crap! I did not know that! I thought it would only apply to one of them! Oh, holy crap! This ship's Lady Duelist is beautiful, no? Sorry, chap. I prefer to watch. Oh, you can interact with other things at the casino. That dealer! I think he's cheating! A duel? What's that? Can I win money? There's no money involved? Then what's the point? I can be into a game where there's no cash at stake. Well, wait, wait a minute. But we win money when we duel, as well as a card. We have a duel specialist on board. The specialist is on the floor in the next section. Please challenge her. Oh, that's probably my... Um... Should I talk to either of them? I already hear wedding bells! You're just dumb. Am I glad to see you? You came at just the right time! Can you duel that creep in my place? Okay. You're a real lifesaver! Jean-Claude Magnum! Bonga will take you on! It doesn't matter who you forced to meet a duel, my. When I win, you have to marry me, as you promised. You better not lose. Look, even if I lose, does it really matter? I'll just lose a baby dragon, and you'll still be single. <laughs> and then the fanboys will cry that you're not shipped with Joey yet. Um, how do I feel about this monster? No, actually. A part of me wants to use Beast King of the Swamp's effect right now. But I think
think I can actually win this exchange. So it might be too early to use its effect yet. In fact, I may not even have to. Oh, you can't use its effect right now. Alright. Maybe you can only do that on the first turn. I think that seems to be a theme. Wait, you have a Buku in your deck? Well, your deck is garbage! Oh my god, really? Okay. At this rate, he's stalling for time. Okay, that back row is definitely widening up. Oh, we had an Arm Ninja. Oof, thank god I was able to nullify that attack. Could not destroy my uh, Kaminari Kazo instantly? Alright. Oh, Black Pendant was activated? Oh, that's what he had there. I like Black Pendant. It's a pretty good equip card do some damage, even if you destroy the monster that it was equipped to. Obviously, the effect that's in the real game does not apply here. Legendary Sword? Okay, so this guy likes to work with power-up cards. Um, let, let's keep Baby Dragon for now, and use this as a decoy. Oh, I made the right choice of attacking there. Oh, you lost that exchange. Should have used another one of your power up cards. You idiot. We'll uh, take this monster out. Oh, you know what? I can just win with Baby Dragon. Ah, another Eat Kaboon? Alright. How could this happen? I'm a big time star! I never lose... Is anyone... What? I never lose is any of my movies! Don't you mean like I never lose in any of my movies? Thanks, Bonga. You're searching for a Millennium Item? I don't know how I can be helped to you. I don't know how I can help you. Hmm. Actually... There's mysterious cargo in the ship's hold. Maybe you'll find something there. I'll leave the hold unlocked. Consider that as a thank you for saving me. Oh, they just leave. All right. My job is to duel guests on this cruise. And believe me, I take my job seriously. Oh, we can duel Mai this time. Oh, the field changed. Is it a mountain field? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Um, don't think I want to... Should I use the Trap Master? Yeah, I'm going to use its effect. Gives me an idea to know what I'm up against. Harpy Lady is gone. Figured she'd start with that. I'm gonna put you in defense mode right now. And then I'll summon Maha Bilo to the field. Uh, that Madalus got powered up, didn't it? Okay, this is what I'm up against. The winged beasts get powered up. Do I have any winged beasts in my deck? I don't think so. We're gonna go ahead, go, ahead, ugh, go ahead and activate that. Otherwise, Cannon Soldier would just lose. And Amazon Archers! Oh, no. Oh. This is bad. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, frick! Wait, Baby Dragon gets powered up as well! Ah, the wind! No, 
Oh. Wind beats Earth instantly. <sighs> the least I can do is take out that, uh... I need a forest card. I mean, Battle Ox is still a thing. <sighs> Small victories, Bonga. That's all you can do. Oh. Now I need a fire monster. Oh, yeah! Okay. That's a little unfair. <sighs> if my baby dragon just could just stay alive one extra turn, that time wizard could have came in and saved my life. I'm gonna get my shit rock right now. If, unless I can draw something really powerful. And sadly, what I do have that's powerful, I cannot place it on the field. Oh my god, oh, we're so done. Wait, Wicked Dragon with the Ursat's head is also powered up. Not gonna be much, but I mean, we gotta do something. There, all right. Lay it on thick. I'm just gonna say we lost. There's no way I can come back from this. Wait a minute, what did I get here? Oh! All right. Okay, I hope to god her next draw is not a monster with at least 400 attack points. Alright, clean slate. Let's see how this goes. Damn it. Oh yeah, of course. Just to insult me further. And I got kicked off the cruise. I mean, all my progress got retained, did it? Yeah, they, they're, they're still moved, and that guy's still there. Let's just go to the... this? Go to the this, alright. To the souls guided here by the Millennium Item. Prove your worth by conquering my duel challenge. Do we really have to stand in such an arbitrary spot? Oh, I can't make that ante anymore, because then I'm not in my trunk. Um, I guess we'll go with Shadow Spectre. That's not considered a low card. Strangely enough. It would have told me if the card value was just too low. I will just play Pot of Greed right now. That's actually a decent hand. Restructor Revolution, and I take 200 life point damage for every card in my hand. Luckily, that was only 800. Okay, I can't use Maha Vilo against this Claw Reacher. However, I can use the Baby Dragon. I feel like Baby Dragon has often saved my life in many instances. And this seems to be no exception. Okay, this guy is definitely an aggressive opponent. Alright, let's see how you handle this. Oh, that was an Ikaboon. Well, at least I got it out of the way. Jin, the Watcher of the Wind, is now gone. Huh. I just broke that wind. Huh. Should probably defend. Not going to use my Soul of the Pure yet. He's got no answer to this. Ah, uh, be 
I'd be laying it on too thin if I used Blue Eyes White Dragon. I got a better idea. Because then I'd have two light monsters. And what if he brings in a shadow? Alright, next turn, I should win it. Okay, that was actually much easier than dueling Mai. That was way too ridiculous. Alright, just to play it safe, I'll just use Spellbinder Circle to weaken it further. And boom. It's all right. No, it's not. It's it's trash. Impressive. Take this item. Ah, the Millennium Key. Wah! What? What's going on? Just shoddy? But how? The Millennium items retain the memories of their bearers. These memories will guide the chosen duelists in their quest. Follow them to the salvation of the world. He disappeared! Was that Shoddy's memory in the Millennium Key? Well, we scored the Millennium Key! Yeah, Joey. Bonga. We should go see Shizu. Uh, Alright. I like how none of these guys even question what was happening. Hey, what's up? You have obtained the Millennium Key! With the power of two Millennium Items! What is happening? Did I just reawaken Slifer the Sky Dragon? Slifer the Sky Dragon has regained its power. Egyptian God cards choose their bearers. This card chooses you, Yugi. Ishizu! Slifer the Sky Dragon! I can't use it! That card belongs to my other self! It doesn't belong to me! But, after all the trouble you've undergone to obtain it, you will forfeit the resurrected Egyptian God card? I think Banga should hold on to that card. Banga also saw the Millennium Necklace's vision! I know he can control the power of the Egyptian God cards! I'm absolutely sure of it! Banga, don't be shy! Take it! I'd be leaping out of my skin to get a car like that! Besides, Slide for the Sky Dragon proves that the power of our friendship can defeat anybody! I understand. Since you all agree, Banga, I will entrust you with this card. Oh, I got Slide for the Sky Dragon to add to my deck. Yeah! Awesome! We had the first Egyptian God card! Still, it seems that in order to restore a single Egyptian God card, we need the magical powers of two Millennium Items! Banga, you are correct. In order to resurrect all three Egyptian God cards, you must gather the other Millennium Items, and quickly! <coughs> okay. The next Millennium Item is in Italy! Among the Catacombs. Catacombs are underground cemeteries. The Millennium Item is certain to be hidden there. That's a little frightening. But, uh, we do have Slifer now. So, uh, one of these battle warriors can go. Alright, we'll go by, uh, stars, because Slifer would have a lot. Uh, a card that can power up based on the cards in the hand. For every card in the player's hand, power is up three levels. So levels in this game is basically like uh, like 500 attack and defense. So for every card, if I have like five cards, is that like 7,500 attack power? That is crazy. And it also costs nothing, which I find very odd. Whoa, Yugi, you just had quite a seizure right there. <laughs> okay. Um, we're gonna save? 
And I think now would be a good time to stop. And in the next part, we'll be going to Italy. See ya, everyone.